Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go through how to easily beat the Watcher Knights. The Watcher Knights are one of the more challenging boss fights in Hollow Knight early on. And to that end, I'm going to do it with minimal upgrades just to show how it's done. But then anything else you decide to have on top of that, it will just make it easier. So to that end, I only have the base health of five masks. But I do have Shaman Stone and Spell Twister. Shaman Stone is going to increase the size and power of my spells. Spell Twister is going to reduce their cost. Um, I have an extra two charm notches in order to accommodate that. And I only have a single nail upgrade. You can actually go to the second nail upgrade if you like. But don't go beyond the second nail upgrade. As every time you upgrade your nail beyond that the bosses are actually going to get a health boost which is not only going to negate the value of upgrading your nail it's going to make your spells relatively weaker so the first thing you're going to want to do after making your way up to the spire is mantis claw onto the left side of this wall and nail the roof you're going to break through a secret passage go through the top and cut the chandelier what this is going to do is going to crush one of the watcher knights so now you only have to fight five of them instead of six don't worry about the fight starting, the fight won't start until you reach the far right hand side of the room. So what you can see me doing here is before the fight starts, I'm actually dream nailing the Watcher Knights to fill up on soul. So you can do this um, before the fight starts and you can also heal up any mask health that you need to before the fight. Now the game plan here is Pogos and Descending Dark. Descending Dark is the upgrade of Desolate Dive and Watcher Knights die to it really easily. Also, Descending Dark gives you iframes. So what you can see me doing here is I'm pogoing the Watcher Knights twice and then doing a Descending Dark. Walking out of their hitbox with my iframes and then doing another Descending Dark. And it's about three descending darks with two nail pogos each um, and will kill a watcher knight. So just two pogos and a descending dark and it's dead. Two pogos and a descending dark. Um, now I don't have monarch wings or shed cloak. Uh, I did that on purpose for this video but you can go down to the ancient basin and get monarch wings and or the shade cloak and that will increase your maneuverability. So just staying out of the way of their nail swipes and the fight is done. I just want to say that while the bouncing roll attack seems overwhelming, the Watcher Knights will target where the Knight was when they initiated the attack. As you can see, I use that to be able to kite them around the arena as well as predict where their attack is going to end up, allowing me to dodge it more easily. So that was the Watcher Knights fight. Heading upstairs you'll get a Geo Chest and a Hellenus Seal. So the main takeaways are to smash the Chandelier before the fight, to Descending Dark will kill Watcher Knights really quickly, and to try to focus down on one and not lose track of where it is, otherwise you're splitting damage between two which will drag the fight out and that the bouncing roll attack will target where you were when the attack was initiated. Anyways, that's going to be it from me, and we'll see you in the next video.